Airplane mode, I don't need no drama. So it's raining like crazy outside. Oh my god. And I decided to come to the Obon market, and they're so expensive. This stuff is so expensive. Excuse me. Sorry. They're trying to overcharge for stuff that's not even half the price. Like, I was buying an umbrella and they're trying to charge me 100 IDR, which is a lot of money. 100k IDR, which is a lot of money for them. And I, we, I ordered a cab, and the cab driver, I was telling the cab driver what happened, and he was like, That is really expensive for an umbrella. It should be like 20k or something. So. If you do decide to come here, be careful. They might overcharge you. So I ended up buying some cute little purses so I could give to my cousin, my mom, and my grandma for souvenir. I was looking for something else cuter but couldn't find it. So let me show you what I bought. I bought these. I think they're cute because it says Bali and you can put your money in it. I think they're cute. 150k at first she said 300k and i was like no and then she said 200k and i said no and then she said 150 and i said okay well at first i said no because i thought she said if i want 150 of them and then my friend was like no she said 150 and i was like hmm, okay i'll take it for 150 but not no damn 300k Trying to calculate to see if I have enough money. 40k. 40 plus 35 plus 75 plus um, 45. So like 200k. <laughs> like things are cheap here but it adds up so far i'm not liking the food that i eat in Bali so far i haven't found anything that i've liked so far <laughs> i know even the kfc we bought kfc to try it out and i'm just like um it just i don't know it just turned me off immediately. i think about the i'm gonna order so the food came so far so good hopefully it tastes good so I had to strip the, the chicken spring roll it's good I think I'm gonna buy that to go some more. Their sauce is so good. Like, this is the hot sauce and ketchup, but it's not hot. It's just like a perfect flavor. That's the only thing that. I see that I would want to take back from back. Thank you.
Hey guys, so now we're at the Aloha Ubud swing. Um, we came back because we didn't get to finish because of the rain. So they gave us this thing to come back in three days to finish the swing, just in case of any rain. So now we're here, we're just walking around, waiting to go on her swing or swing. So we paid um, 360 um, IRD for the swing. I don't know if you can see. So it's not bad. Now we're just waiting to go on. Oh my god, it is so hot guys. I had to open my shirt to try and get a little cool breeze, pull my hair back. It is really hot, like really hot today. Oh yeah, this bag is from my uh, bag company called Love Charms, L-O-V-E-C-H-A-R-M-Z-Z. You can follow, you could shop and save 25% using discount code L-U-V-E love and if you live in New York I, sh I will deliver it to you and we also ship worldwide so this is one of my bags that I'm rocking today
so you walk down guys and then look they have breadfruit trees i don't know if y'all can see i didn't know they had breadfruit trees yes i did not know this is the rice terrace They have other swings in Bali. Um, they have swings that has like a, a zoo, and they have swings with like a with like a river with a waterfall and stuff like that. Perfect for everybody, and they have kids friendly ones. So they have you don't necessarily have to come to this one, but they have plenty of others. This one is closer to our hotel, so we decided to check this one out. Man, I wish I could stay longer in Bali so that I could experience more because there's so much more that I want to see. But I think I may come back in October. I may, I'm not sure, but I definitely do want to uh, come back here because there's so much more to see. And don't be a fool like me and wear long sleeve <laughs> because it's extremely hot. It's too hot. Like, I'm so hot. I'm sweating. And I'm thirsty but yeah I hope you guys like it this is the swing day two we couldn't finish it because the rain like came down so heavy oh my god yesterday the rain came down so heavy I burst my slippers I burst my jumpsuit like I was so I was so agitated I was so pissed and plus in the rain they wanted to charge us more because um, it's raining and they were trying to, normally we would take from the Ubud to the hotel, it's like 27K. They were trying to charge us 100K. I'm like, no, that's, no, no, that's not it. You know, like, why are you charging so much? And that's another thing that tourists has to be mindful of. Like, now I see why the tourists come and they rent their bikes, because they do ride a lot of bikes here. They, ride, they rent their bikes and they ride around and they do what they have to do because they try to overcharge you like just now um, from our hotel to this Aloha Swing um, the driver tried to um, overcharge us he, at first he was like oh um, for the day I could um, stay with you guys for the day and I would charge you 50k for the entire day I would wait on you whatever I would drop you wherever then suddenly his mouth changed and then he said 500,000 K I'm like what who was paying 500,000 K no and then another thing he he tried to um he tried to drive with us all the way around and pass here and try to go somewhere else with the GPS so that we could pay more and I put it in luckily I put it in my GPS I was like no you're driving the wrong way you need to turn back because when you turn back is six minutes when you place where you were going was 15 minutes like we're not paying extra and just now we paid him um, money and he tried to take our money with him I'm like that is just so dishonest and people like that is what make the experience a little bit more effed up you know like you shouldn't have to go through all of that but nonetheless we're here we made it my girl is taking her pictures down there <laughs> and we're just here and I'm trying to go to the temple but the way how I'm feeling these clothes I have no idea but we'll see now we're taking a walk down to the coffee spot um, to see what it's about this whole this just reminds me so much of Jamaica as I said this is like an extended version of Portland I think you have to
So if you want to try out the coffee and the tea and stuff, it's going to be 50k for it. <laughs> 